Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I haven't posted in a couple weeks. I've just been so busy with school, but I am trying to find a routine and make time to film and edit. And I'm so excited that it's fall. So for today's video, I created this fall like eyeshadow look, but it ended up looking more like Halloween-ish. So I don't know, but it's just glittery and purple it was super easy and i show you guys this new technique on how to do a cut crease with cleansing water and it's super easy don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and make sure to comment down below what kind of videos you guys want to see next so if you guys want to see how i got this makeup look then just keep watching okay so i'm gonna start by priming with the mac soft ochre paint pot and i decided i didn't want to do my eyebrows before i started my makeup so just enjoy looking at the horror. So I'm going to be using the Morphe 25C palette. It looks like this. And I'm going to start with these two like magenta shades. I want to go for like a maroon gold um, kind of look. I'm going to start first with this bright one and just put that all over my crease. And I'm really going to pack it on there and this is without setting the primer. several times it hurts to admit that we're no different i find it hard to commit but you don't even try still i'm better with and without you okay now i'm gonna do the same thing i just did but with the one right next to it which is this one oh. I'm going to blend out that shade with the lighter magenta color. This is a very bright magenta color and my intention was to go darker with this look. I look crazy by the way. And I'm just, so I'm going to make it darker but it looks pretty cool like this. I really like this color. It looks it looks purp more purple on ca on off camera and it looks more pink on camera. But I'm going to take this plum looking shade and I want to focus that on the crease but more towards the lid. You don't need a I'm just going to go back in with the other brush and with no additional product just make sure there's no harsh lines. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cut like half of the crease so I can put a bright gold in there and then I was, I'm going to finish up the rest. I'm going to try this new technique that I've like heard about and stuff but I've never tried it. I'm going to use this micellar cleansing water to try to cut my crease with a q-tip. It's just hard to like get this to go on the q-tip so that's actually pretty good as you guys can see it's pretty it's a pretty cut crease better than i can i mean obviously from not from right here which is fine but from right here it is okay so they're not even but it's there okay so now i'm gonna put primer on that area since i don't have any primer on honestly this was my first time doing that like method with the uh, cleansing water and it was fairly easy. I mean, I can definitely use more practice. But if you guys are not good at cut creases, you should definitely try that. Because it was a lot easier to do with that, like, concealer. So I'm going to go back into the shade and just put it on right here where it kind of came off. Oh no, that's not good. So I'm going to be using the NYX Glitter Primer and I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand and I'm going to take a thin shader brush and I'm going to put this wherever I want the color I'm going to put and then put it on there. So for the glitter I'm going to be using the color Topaz from the Colourpop and Kathleen Light So Jaded palette. I find it hard to commit, but you don't even try. Still I'm better with and without you Oh I, I'm on it, I want it Oh I, do you see the call in your eyes? I can't tell if you're here or you're out there Do you wanna be out there? You don't need to be Prince Charming 
It looks so glittery. You can't even see how glittery it is on camera. Do you see that glitter? I just need this to be real. I don't need no fairy tale. You don't need a killer. I just realized I don't know why I did that because I wasn't done with my eyes yet. I'm gonna take um, the black in the Morphe palette and I'm gonna focus that on the outer corners. So now I'm gonna move on to my face. For primer, I'm gonna be using the Benefit Professional. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick, and I am in the color Y325. For concealer, I'm going to be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 18. I love this concealer, but the little applicator, like the spongy thing, keeps falling off and it'll, it'll like end up on the ground. And I'm going to set that with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And in this one, I use the color 10 Fair Light. If you guys are ever like, can't decide or are in between getting this powder or getting like a high end powder, get this one. I promise you, you'll love it. It's like, it makes you look so smooth and flawless and just really good. Okay, now I'm going to do my eyebrows with the usual, the NYX, um, Precision Brow Pencil and Espresso. Now I look kind of normal and my eyebrows are so not the same. Well, whatever. I think that's just as good as they're going to get. I'm going to take um, the color Pearl and My Precious, and I'm going to use both of them mixed together to highlight my brow bone. And to highlight my inner corner, I'm going to mix Sunstone with Pearl because I want it to be bright, but I want to give it like an orangey undertone like a goldish undertone and now I'm gonna do my lower lash line I'm gonna put the darkest plum shade on the bottom closest to my lash line then I'm gonna top that with both magenta shades that we used in the beginning Now I'm going to put a black eyeliner in my waterline. So now I'm going to be putting on lashes and I'm going to be using Dodo lashes in the style 115. Um, they're not in the box because so I already took them out. But yeah, these lashes are really nice and I have a code if you guys want to buy them and save some money. I'm not applying any liquid liner on top because I don't want it to hide the glitter. I just realized I forgot to put on mascara. Okay, so those are basically the finished eyes. I really, really, really like this look. And now I'm going to do the rest of my face. So for contour, I'm going to be using this NARS um, Paloma like duo thingy. I really like the contour shade. For 
for blush, I'm going to be using the Alamad um, Brush Trio. And I'm going to be focusing it on Scorcher and Paraiso. And now for highlight, I'm going to be using the Artist Couture, um, the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Summer Haze. So this is basically like a loose highlight, so I'm just going to take whatever's in the cap. You hurt me, you did, several times. It hurts to admit that we're no different. I find it so I don't know if I should do this one. Or is that too much? Let me put it on and see. I'm just going to keep it like this. So for lips, I used the Milani lipstick, matte lipstick in the color Flirty. It's like a purple, very purpley uh, red. Okay, so that is the final look, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.